Hello Gearspace, uh, this is Ilya from Game Changer Audio and we're here at Super Boost 22 and uh, we've got something really cool, this is the Motor Synth Mark II. So the Motor Synth returns to Super Booth. Uh, the Motor Synth prototypes were first shown here at Super Booth in uh, 2019 and since then we've uh, managed to build uh, somewhere around 400 uh, of the first Motor Synthesizers send them out to clients and collect some feedback and uh, collect some feedback from our clients and uh, since then we've been working on improving the original design and improving the mechanical uh, the mechanical like noise of the synth and pretty much uh, you know um, pretty much uh, making improvements across the board and uh, what we have right now uh, is uh, is a significantly upgraded version of the original motor synth but the original idea stays as stays the same we wanted to build a new kind of oscillator a new kind of instrument that uses electro motors as the source of sound so as some of you know uh, the motor synth Here's here, like all the all the notes that you hear from the synth. So, for example, put on latch. The notes that you hear from the synth. They are produced by by a system of electro motors that are spinning in a specific uh, RPM that corresponds with the frequency that you input on the instrument. For example, now I can uh, set up this keypad to some kind of scale, yep, and now if I turn off latch, so every time you see a change of node, that means that the motor is actually changing their speed, so put back like latch, so this is the, right now we're listening to one motor voice, and these are the, there. it has four different waveforms, these are very interesting like these, these are not perfect waveforms. For example, this is a sawtooth waveform. But of, of course, it doesn't. It's not as sharp and it's not as perfect as you would normally expect from an oscillator, because it's being produced by a optical disc system. So these discs that are spinning, every disc has three tracks: a sine wave track, a square wave track, and the sawtooth track. So these tracks are uh, on the bottom side of those discs and uh, they look like graphical representations of those uh, of those wave or those three wave shapes and we are reading that pattern with uh, three separate uh, beams of infrared light and then the fourth wave shape here is an electromagnetic inductive wave shape this one here so this is the original source of sound. It's a rich, it's a rich sound, and now we can apply all of our standard classic synth, you know, uh, synth manipulations to it. So every motor voice features an uh, bo bo each uh, bo both motor voices feature an analog multi-mode filter with low pass, band pass, high pass, and all pass. So here's increase. Let's increase the drive. Resonance. Let's blend in. One more voice. And now we have something that's a kind of rich. And uh, in the Mark II version, we've also added a, a third voice, which is a digital voice. This is because uh, we wanted to make sure that the synth has wave shaping options and also it has a noise source. So for example here, digital voice. Also has its own filter. Wait a second. Oh, okay. It's, uh, has its own envelope as well, so that was why it was quieter at first. So now raise the sustain amount for the digital voice envelope. 
Let's see what we do can do. We can do all kinds of all, all kinds of wave shaping for it. So, by combining all these, uh, th like these three voices, uh, we get a very, really, we can get all kinds of really rich sounds. And then each voice has a so each voice has an analog uh, 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 amp uh, amp envelope section. So I can have different amp envelopes for for each of the voices. So. To show that, I'll show I'll set up the arpeggiator. So let's start with voice number one. Here we see it's. Uh the amp envelope for voice one, the release time. We have three assignable LFOs as well. So for example, I'm gonna take this one, click assign. So this one has a four fourth or subdivision, second so, and uh, I can have uh, three different LFOs with different subdivisions working at the same time. So, for example, here, this is assigned right now to the frequency of voice one and voice two. So, let, we can assign, for example, this one to the to the to the wave shape of uh, pulse width of the saw shape. So by combining all these things, we we can get. Uh, you know, some really cool sounds. I'm gonna stop talking now and just show you some things, okay?
Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. So yeah, that's the motor synth Mark II. Uh, we're going to be building the first couple hundred units of these this summer. So follow Game Changer Audio and uh, follow Gearspace, and uh, you'll definitely know how to how to get one. Uh, we're gonna we expect to start building them and shipping them in July, in August. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks a lot, guys.